Dude, are you all right, man? Whoa. What the f I got that on f camera. I got that on Did you get that on camera, though? Dude, I got that on Tim. My electric skateboard just got stolen. Where'd you go? Welcome to another video. This is about as enthusiastic as I can get because I'm pretty sure my $2,000 electric skateboard has just been stolen out from under my face. And if I'm gonna be frank with you, I'm pretty sure it was someone from this park who works here who grabbed it. Because no one, nobody else was here except for cleaners. And it's gone. Regardless, you gotta do your day. It was like uh, the time that I did the 100 stacked board challenge. Right before I filmed that video, my entire camera bag, including my laptop, all the information on it, all my camera gear was stolen. But as any YouTuber will say, the show must go on, regardless of life and things that are important. I feel like a lot of people have probably seen compilations of the cops versus the skater boys. Are you from the county or something? And even your boy, I, have had my fair share of cop incidents. But what I've noticed is it seems like the people who freak out the most are not cops, but the people working there. What? Nothing, nothing. Stop, hey, stop, hey, what are you hey, doing? Hey, we're hey what did I ask you to do? Hey, what did I ask you to do? But what I have noticed is that cops who seem to feel disrespected in some way. First of all, you disrespected me, this badge, and my department. What's your problem, huh? Nothing. You got some ID? How old are you? 13. 13. That's when the problems occur. You gotta be like, yes sir, that's cool. All right, you're bigger than me. There's a way you gotta juke and jive with the conversation and be like, okay, yes, I am beneath you, you're good, and usually that makes some, some people feel better. But I feel like for police officers, it's a completely different day and age. Nowadays, it seems like there are so many good ones out there doing their thing and being so nice and helpful, and yeah, I don't know, it just felt different when I was younger. It felt a lot different. Has anyone returned anything here? Oh, I thought you, <laughs> you were I'm still. I'm sorry about that. I'm still here, yeah. Oh, you didn't find it? Didn't find it. You see that guy that's sitting over with the white shirt? Yeah. He was sitting on there since 6 o'clock this morning. White shirt right in the middle? Sir, uh, is there any way that you may have seen like an electric skateboard? Um, I'm, I'm not coming in the fall. Oh, you just got here? Yeah, okay, no worries, no worries. All right. I had this weird disadvantage to trying to appreciate the officers of the law. I was, I'm a skater since I was 10 years old. So pretty much every incident I've had since I was a kid it has been sort of a negative one. Like, hey, you can't be here. You can't do what you do. Are you from the county or something? I actually follow a cop named Mike the Cop. He seems hilarious. Thank you for holding. This is Jason with Chronic Pain Services. How are you doing today? I'm in a lot of pain. The point is, only twice in skateboarding have I ever actually gotten a ticket, and the first time I got it, I thought my world was gonna end. Which is ironic because uh, it was like a $150 ticket, and today I just lost $2,000. <laughs> our local bowling alley and it was quite the spot it was almost as sick as all the other spots we have so seriously a four stairs seemed like a good spot and seemed like a worthwhile investment in skating but if I knew it would cost me hundred and fifty dollars to do a trick there eh. but then again completely my fault there I was another Saturday doing my regular skateboarding ollie kickflip 900 the normal tricks that I did downstairs sets but right there that's where cars turned to the left and I was like you know what Fuck Budget. I don't give a flying fish stick. Jump down the stair set anyways. I got angry because I didn't land it because I have a short temper, which hasn't suited me very well thus far and is proven not to this time yet again. So there I was jumping down the stair set. Car was approaching, looked to the left, jumped to the straight, looked to the forward, saw their window directly in front of me. And instead of being like, sorry about that, I screamed. I screamed into the car window like a little dick. Yeah, so that's literally what happened. 100% my fault, some kid being arrogant, jumping in front of a car, being an idiot, cop saw it and he was like, hey, um, no offense, but what? So the cop was like, let me get your information, starts writing a citation, and once I realized what was happening, I started 
freaking the mother freak out. I wasn't yelling at him, but I started literally begging. My eyes started watering, and I was like, I literally can't afford this. My family's in poverty. I said all this crazy, crazy stuff to get him not to write me this ticket. But at the time, I did truly believe it was going to hurt my family to have this ticket. I thought it was gonna be like, my, my parents were gonna be like, now we have to move out, live in a garbage can. Good job, son. And I would've been like, of course, you know I got you guys' backs. Long story, really long, um, I got a ticket. It was my first skate ticket. I held it in pride, and my parents actually weren't that bummed. They were like, you know what? We got you, it's the first one ever. If you let it happen again, though, we will amputate your feet. <laughs> And since then, I've had some really crazy run-ins with police officers. I've had one hold a gun up to my face and literally threaten to blow my effing head off and put me on the ground, put me in the cop car. I've been arrested. I, you know, the whole the whole nine yards of what can possibly happen. I've had hundreds and hundreds of experience with police officers, thousands if you include people who kick us out of spots. It's, it's, it's never ending, but sort of the price you pay for doing something that um, isn't legal. I guess. But in this day and age, with all the people who skate, especially in New York City, California, no one gives me a hard time out here. They're just like, hey, yo, you know, you can't really do that here. The people are complaining. And I always get it now, but everyone pretty much who's an adult now has like had a time in life where they've ridden on skateboards. It's becoming more universal, even in the smaller cities. But I am interested, actually, for people out there who live in the smaller towns that nobody's really heard of, do you still have incidents where police officers are like, hey, what's up, dude? I don't know what you're doing it, I'm gonna slap you in the face for it. And you're like, what? And you slap him back first? Just curious. Bye curious. Back to reality, my electric skateboard. I, I keep saying my electric skateboard, it's Sarah's electric skateboard. Like I stole him. It's not even mine, it's my girlfriend's. Did she get it for free? I don't know. I hope she did. Jesus. You know what I did this morning that feels very uh, nostalgic because I haven't done it in a long time? Skate very early, which I did at LES, and it was, it was good. City back there. Dang, dang, man. Are you from the county or something? Look at this day. Look at today. It's still very early, but the thing is, I might dip out on this video because I have been doing daily vlogs for a really long time, but I like keeping it short, keeping it quick, being like, yo, here's a video, peep game, but I also do these every single day. So if you are like, oh man, that wasn't enough though, you can follow me at, at John Hill on Instagram, where I do showcase most of my day on the Instagram story, or you can subscribe to this channel, hit the notification bell and be like, yo, I'm here. What's up? Let's keep hanging out. Also, guys, if you haven't seen the new Progress Daily merch, this line right now, it's one of my favorites so far that we have done. It's also the softest material on the entire planet. And when I say that, I mean, guys, just listen, all right? Think about the softest thing you've ever tasted. I mean, felt, that's weird. If it's near you, touch it, close your eyes, hold that soft material close to your heart, close to your cheeks. This shirt, all the shirts from Progress Daily, three times softer. How is that possible? you ask how well when you're a kid you learn that Santa Claus isn't real but the thing is Santa Claus just doesn't do what you think he does he actually does live in the North Pole he does have some elves but all year they work on building some of the softest material on the planet but most human beings don't have access to this material uh, I happen to have a few friends I make a few calls bada bing bada boom you know I know people who know people who know mr. Santa Claus so he makes certain clothing for certain people and he hit me up and he's like, yo, I can make your shirts for your new line because I love your audience that much. And I'm like, Wah. So, big shout outs to Santa Claus for hooking it up. Also, these hats right here, it says Progress Daily in Korean. I am half Korean, even though I don't know how to speak it, so I can't even say what it would be in Korean. I also do want to take you guys through one of the days that I've been having recently because they've been very, very artsy. It's hard to explain. My, I, I basically try to fit in all creativity all day and work as, uh, 
I was gonna say work as little as possible, but all of my creative work is also work. So anyways, I'll show you guys one of those days coming up very, very soon. It's a, it's a, it's fun. It's fun. It's a, it's a very peaceful, <gasps> relaxing day. So guys, thank you for tuning in today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow for another video. Love you so much. Progress daily and keep killing it. Yeah.